Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to discuss a numerical problem in communication system. This problem is related to the topic AM power and efficiency. So, if you haven't studied that topic, go and study that topic. There is also a video available on my YouTube channel. I will put the link in description below. First, watch that video, then come to this numerical problem, and it will be very easy to solve this numerical problem for you. Okay, the numerical problem says a broadcast radio transmitter radiates 5 kilowatt power when modulation percentage is 60%. This modulation percentage is basically the modulation index. So we have mu is equal to 0.6. 60% means 0.6 because the range of the modulation index is from 0 to 1. 1 is basically 100% in terms of percentage, 0 is 0% and so on. So modulation index is 0.6. Also, the total power is given, which is denoted by the PT. The total power is given as 5 kilowatt or 5000 watt. Okay. Now, we are asked to calculate the carrier power, which is basically denoted by PC. The power inside bands, that is the PS and the efficiency N. So, we know that the total power is equal to the carrier power plus the power of side bands. Okay, in A modulation, the total power is equal to carrier power plus power of side bands. Now, this carrier power is equal to A square divided by 2, where A is the amplitude of the carrier signal. A is what? A is the amplitude of the carrier signal. Similarly, the power in side bands is equal to mu square a square divided by 4. Again, this mu is the modulation index, A is the carrier amplitude. Because we have m of t, which is the, for example, mpr, m of t is the amplitude of the message signal. Suppose I denote it by mp. This mp is basically equal to mu into A, where A is the amplitude of the carrier signal. And accordingly, we have the definition of mu. Mu is equal to mp divided by A. So that is why power of the sidebands is equal to mu square a square divided by 4. Now this a square is not given. We have uh, a square in this carrier power. We also have a square in the sidebands, but this is not given. So first of all, we need to find this a square. So now I am going to put it over here. P of t is equal to a square divided by 2 plus mu square a square divided by 4. Okay, let me take a, a square common because we need to calculate the a square. It is here and it is also here. A square 1 by 2 plus mu square divided by 4. Now the total power, pt is the total power, which is equal to 5000 watts. So 5000 is equal to a square. This 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. Modulation index is given as 0 0.6. So this is 0 0.6 square divided by 4. Now when you calculate this thing, this comes out to be 5000 is equal to a square into 0 0.59. Which means that a square is equal to 5000 divided by 0 0.59. And this comes out to be 8. 474.6 watt. I can write watt over here, but this is basically the a square, the amplitude a square. So this is basically this thing. This is a square, which is yours, 8474.6 watt. Fine. So we have found the a square. Now the rest is easy to find. We need to find the carrier power PC, the power inside bands and efficiency. Now the carrier power PC is equal to A square divided by 2. We have found the A square which is this thing. So the carrier power, first thing is the carrier power which is equal to A square divided by 2. Which means that this thing 8474.6 divided by 2. Which comes out to be 4237.3 watt. So we have found out the carrier power. Next is to find the power in side bands. That is PS. Again, power in side bands is equal to 
mu square a square divided by 4. So this is mu square a square a square mu square a square divided by 4. Mu is 0 0.6, so 0 0.6 whole square a square is my this value which is 8474.6 and divide by 4. Now when you solve this thing, you are going to get power of side band that is equal to 762.71 watts. So we have found the carrier power, we have found the power in the side band. The third point is to find the efficiency. Now we know that the carrier power is useless power. So the useful power is the power of side bands and efficiency is given as power of side bands divided by the total power. That is the power carrier power plus power of side bands. So this is basically equal to is an equal sign. PS divided by PT. PS has been found out which is 762.71 watt. And PT is given which is 5000 watt. And to find the efficiency we have to multiply by 100. To find efficiency in percentage we have to multiply by 100. So this comes out to be the efficiency comes out to be 15.25 percent. So now all the unknowns are known. We have found the carrier power, we have found the power of side bands and we have found the efficiency. Thank you.